LAPD Greenlights Police Drones. Say hello to my little friend. The Los Angeles Police Commission has voted in favor of allowing the LAPD to use drones in a year-long pilot program. Only SWAT team members in high-risk situations will be able to fly the drones. They will be deployed for aerial searches and gathering intelligence in tense situations. The drones will also be used in search and rescue missions. Every flight needs to be approved, documented, and reviewed. Weapons and facial recognition technology are also prohibited. LAPD officials attempted to address privacy concerns by saying the restrictions in place along with strong oversight would be sufficient, although many critics still remain wary. The commission will evaluate the performance of the pilot program after a year in order to decide whether or not to continue. Better learn to fly one now. New York Fire Department to deploy drones to fight fires. New York's fire department will soon have new eyes and ears above the city. The NYFD is currently testing drones that will help firefighters get a better look at how to fight fires before sending in humans. The $85,000 drones painted fire engine red weigh roughly eight pounds and can move vertically and swivel 360 degrees. They will be attached to a 200 foot long tether they can capture both standard video and infrared images, which are then transmitted to a portable command center, so firefighters can see what they're up against. It takes two firefighters to operate each drone, a pilot to man the controls, and an observer to keep the area clear. The first drone will be deployed in the coming weeks, followed by two more before the end of the year. The drone idea was conceived after a deadly 2014 gas explosion in East Harlem when an amateur drone operator flew his drone in to help firefighters get pictures of the damaged site. British police are big fans of drones. A police force in the UK is set to launch the country's first 24-hour drone unit after completing successful trials of the technology. Devon and Cornwall police began testing DJI Inspire One drones in 2015. This model has a 360-degree rotating camera that takes HD photos and video the pilot of the drone can watch live video on a screen on the drone's remote control. The DJI Inspire 1 can reach a maximum flight altitude of 4,500 meters and has a range of 5 kilometers from its pilot. On a full battery charge, the drone has a maximum flight time of 18 minutes. Among several uses for the drones, police believe they can help pursue suspects and record images at the scene of road traffic accidents. Devon and Cornwall police said drones can capture footage in hard-to-reach areas, such as Woodland, to find a missing person. According to London's Metropolitan Police Force, the cost of operating a police helicopter is 850 pounds per flying hour. Drones could help the police cut costs because the devices cost as little as a thousand pounds each. The only operating cost is recharging the battery. As many as 21 British police forces are reportedly experimenting with drones. The devices have been used by police to watch over the Duchess of Cambridge on a royal visit, and even to chase a lynx that escaped from a zoo. China finds a new way to get rid of rubbish on power lines. China is using drones to burn down trash stuck to power lines. But is that safe? The fire spewing drone emits flames via a one meter long tube. It uses liquefied petroleum gas for fuel. The drone can be operated by maintenance workers remotely. China's power company Flames can burn up trash stuck to wires within 15 minutes, which isn't a long enough duration to cause damage to the aluminum-coated power wires. The power company says this method is not only more efficient to get rid of waste stuck to power lines, but it also reduces the risk of maintenance workers being electrocuted by high-voltage lines. Drone Defender Rifle uses radio waves to disable drones. Shooting a drone or UAV out of the sky with a shotgun is potentially both illegal and dangerous. But a new weapon may soon provide an effective and non-violent way of disabling unwanted UAVs. The Ohio-based Battelle Memorial Institute, a private nonprofit science and tech development company, has announced the creation of the Drone Defender a shoulder-mounted, rechargeable, rifle-like weapon that takes UAVs offline with a blast of radio waves. The Drone Defender weighs just four and a half kilos, or 10 pounds, and can target a drone up to 400 meters or over 1,300 feet away. 
The rifle fires waves of electromagnetic energy tuned to common GPS and ISM frequencies, disabling the UAV by blocking it from receiving commands. The radio waves from a drone defender should activate the disabled drone's safety protocol, making it hover, land, or return to its point of origin. Battelle says the defender could be used to protect prisons, schools, or historical sites, and of course has military and law enforcement applications as well. No information on the price of the drone defender has yet been released, but the device is expected to go on sale in 2016.